Tower 1 is the crowning glory of the Ground Zero redevelopment. 104 floors high, it's the tallest structure in New York City and one of the safest skyscrapers on Earth. Great buildings respond to their circumstances. Tower 1, of course, has very, very unique circumstances. It is the replacement building to the fallen twin towers, and as a result of that, it has to be extremely robust, extremely safe. The challenge of building this super strong tower goes to architecture firms Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. After 9-11, after all those events, we ripped up the book, and we started working with the building department officials and the fire department officials, a whole plethora of engineers to come up with a new and better innovative system of designing high-rise buildings. Gottsdiener and his colleagues come up with a big new idea that's based on a very old one, concrete. They take William Jenny's familiar steel frame and add the strongest concrete core ever constructed in a skyscraper. The walls of the core are three feet thick, and the concrete contains chemicals called superplasticizers, which reduce its water content, making it the strongest ever poured in New York City. It can take 14,000 pounds of pressure, the weight of a school bus, on every square inch. We've never really had a situation where a tower has a perimeter steel, very, very strong structural frame combined with a very thick, robust concrete core. So you really have a building with another building inside of it kind of wrapped in a bulletproof vest. The concrete we use here, some of the strongest concrete that I've ever seen used in the industry. This is more advanced than a nuclear reactor concrete. 